guys welcome to our weekend vlog I was gonna say vlog but that doesn't make sense but it's only because I'm a little bit dopey I have been having a pain flare-up that just won't go away since uh, the, the tea and awareness weekend it just won't go away it's just like I'm so sick of it so yeah look at the snow there was a snowstorm that blew in last night so Richard's out there shoveling the walks. He just got home from work, so his car's over there. But yeah, I um, guess I wasn't correct in predicting the snow was going to go. Because this is nutty. This is crazy. Look at the sky. It's going to snow probably the whole weekend. Oh, so I thought, I'm going to get myself up. I'm going to, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go downstairs. And try to work on some crafts for the craft sale. See what I can muster up. So I can have a sort of a sense of accomplishment, you know. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys my wonderful outfit today. You will be so jealous and envious that you don't look like this today. Isn't this great? Look at this cardi. I love it. It's like this oversized humongous thing that goes way down. I don't even know why. It goes down so long on the sides, but it's super cozy. So, yeah, I'm going to make some tea and look like this. What a prize. So I thought I'd take advantage of this beautiful snowy day, and I'm out going for a walk. Which is like, you haven't done that for ages, and I really haven't. But maybe that's what I need to do more of this new medicine that I'm on for um, my trigeminal pain is keeping it at bay. It's kind of like when um, a campfire is still glowing, I guess. The embers are there, but it doesn't quite fire. But the side effects, you feel really, really drowsy and flat, you know? So, yeah. So I thought, maybe I should just go for a walk. Oh, that house is pretty over there. I love how they painted it. And they have an orange wreath. Can you see? Let me see if I can get it. Oh, it just looks so nice. I love the colors. So anyway, I'm just going to listen to some music and go for a stroll. was my attempt at another asthma or asthma video but it doesn't help when the dog is crunching in the background although that might be pleasurable sound to some people I guess um, look at the tags I made last night these were the inserts from you know I make lots of jam and jelly and these are the inserts from the um, boxes that kind of crisscross across like that on the jelly jars when you buy your jars so what I did is I um, I cut the corners off and then I just threw in about three tea bags in a bowl and then I for some of them I just sat the tea bag right on top of them so that it would see make them all grungy and stained so I think they just all I have to do is punch a hole in them and you know use them as I need them and they're nice and sturdy ones so that's kind of nice and do you guys remember this chalkboard that used to be up here, but it was blue? Well, we painted it. Um, we were going to paint it anyway, but we for sure painted it for the baby shower. And it had that coat of Dr. Seuss on it. So now it's back in my kitchen. I can't believe how much I missed this. Because this is where I write whatever I need on there. Like eggs, milk, you know, I'm making Rice Krispie treats for the kids. Stuff like that. And I just, it's such a go-to place. And I... 
I've missed it so much so Richard put it back up um, yesterday so I love it because now it's painted although in all the different moving around and stuff can you see the chalk paint is peeling off a bit and it sort of bubbled so what I think I'm gonna do one day is just get some more chalk paint repair that chip that off and spray it again because I love this you can see it's just a window underneath so or maybe it was a mirror might have been a mirror I don't even know what it was but anyway love it so the other day uh, Janet was here plus my friend Susan so I have stuff here I was showing them and especially Janet because she's a knitter and I thought I'd show you guys too um Shannon my daughter-in-law uh, bought me some wool for me to knit her some mitts but then she got this other pattern while she was there and they're called lucky mitts and they're so cute they're supposed to be a hockey stick in the pattern but I guess when she used the variegated wool you can't really see it but there is a hockey stick pattern but the cute part about it in the back in a pocket is a uh, that's a loony that's Canadian dollar and it says keep lady luck in your pocket and it says it can also hold a transit ticket ticket or some other small valuables but you put it in your pocket but that'd be kind of cool for kids to have uh, if you needed to give them a couple of bucks especially us because our money isn't a coin and you just make that little pocket isn't that cute so she brought me the wool and the pattern to make this and then I forgot to show you guys this. I don't know if I showed you. I can't remember. Well, my memory. Oh, I know I didn't show you this. Hang on. Just this thing. Look at this. I got for the new boo boo. Isn't this the cutest and the cuddliest thing you've ever seen? A little snowsuit for a little newborn baby. And it's so bright. Look at this. And then the ends come over and make little mitts like the cuff rolls over like that and it makes a little mitten and it has these little boots oh, just loved it it's polo I loved it when I saw it I was like oh gotta get this got to and it was only 20 look at this it was a regular I don't know if you can focus $70 but at winners it was $24.99 and I didn't even know it was polo until I got it home like I looked at that and I was like what is that thing and I was like oh that's the polo logo like the US Polo Association and I just think it is the cutest it's more that the colors because you know with boys it's usually blue yellow green you know and I love the orange and the gray I love it so yeah, and with this kind of weather out here, our new baby is going to need to be bundled up in his widow coat. I cannot wait. He's going to be here soon. He'll be here by the end of the month. So yeah, this is just so cute. I wonder if it's reversible. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out. I kind of think it might be, you guys. What? Let me check this out. I'm not sure if I shared with you guys last week for a brief moment. I don't even know. But anyway, I've decided every week, because I love to bake, even when I don't feel well, I love to bake, I'm going to bake for my kids and their children. Um, I'm doing all of their uh, baking, basically, their lunchbox baking, so that it's healthy and homemade and stuff like that. So today I'm making blackberry muffins. This week I'm making blackberry muffins and Rice Krispie treats. And so they're all going to pick it up on Sundays. And what they're going to do is provide me with flour, sugar, eggs, chocolate chips, whatever. I mean, whenever and whatever. I never asked for it, but... That's what they're going to do, and I'm going to bake for them. So on my way downstairs to do crafts, I thought, you know what? It's a really beautiful snowy day. Why don't I make some muffins? So I'm going to make some blackberry muffins for them. I hope they like them. I think they will. So I 
uh, finished up some blackberry muffins. You'll notice two are gone because we just had lunch. And you dip them in butter and sugar. And then there's some cooling down there and some in the oven. And then we got our herbs from outside. Uh, captured as much as we could from the snow. It's got some rosemary here, some basil there. And tarragon is filling up this bottom one. So I'm just going to plug this in and dry my herbs. I love this dehydrator. I think it's the best thing I ever picked up at a garage sale, I tell you. It was like 10 bucks, I think. So let me grab the lid. Put it on. And I saved some rosemary and tarragon because I want to stick it in a roast chicken. And I might as well just use it fresh if I've got it, right? Oh, it smells. You know, when it's been in that cold, crisp air, the smell just enhances it even more. These are the coolest things ever. This and my sealing bag, like my seal meal bag or whatever you call it. Best things I've ever picked up from a garage sale. So all I have to do is just plug it in. So I'm down in my craft room working on a journal. So I just did um, just a wash and then some nice blue Liquitex. It's actually not Liquitex, it's Amsterdam. I think it's pretty much the same. I'll show it to you. Oh, it's just Amsterdam acrylics, but they're, they're like the Liquitex paints. And I wanted this book, I wish I'd shown you before, it was green and it said an anthology of verse. But I want to leave the anthology, an anthology for the cover. I don't want that hidden. And then I just um, put some paper on the inside. And I on purpose make the paint come through. If whatever naturally, organically shows through. Because it makes the book look a little bit more, um, you know, rough and um, what's the word? distressed. So I'm just going to use this for my border and I made my signatures already. I think I made five of five pages of five so they look like this. So and then some of them have little like these little things in top note things. But what I want to show you is the coolest thing. I was so excited because my stapler came. Can you see that staple in the middle? They're called convertible staplers, and so it just looks like an ordinary staple and it stapler, and it works the same. But when you're binding books, it slides out like this. So then the can you see the staple? You can slide it into. Let's see if I can do it. Come on, it's hard with one hand. You can slide it into the middle of your seam there where you want to put a staple or two but it goes quite far up can you see and you can staple it there or you could put one there or there if you're just making some mini booklets but I just think it's awesome I only put one stapler in because sorry I only put one stapler in because I actually want to do the uh, pamphlet binding in the book so that the strings show on the back but um it still holds them together nicely in the middle. Isn't that cool? Love it. So these are all my five booklets that are going to be going inside of this book. So these are my signatures here. They'll go in this book here once I get all this finished. So that's what I'm working on. Going to watch some Netflix on my computer. But if you're looking for one of these, they are, I think they're called rotatable that's it rotatable um rotatable staplers and i got mine online i think i just got it on amazon and it clicks right in you would never know it to look at it, it it's just a regular stapler but it's much cheaper than those big old long long free arm staplers and it does the same job and if you're making uh, little books or mini books or something. This is so worth it. I think it was $17. I love it. I really, really do. It's It saves a lot. You don't need to have the paper clips to hold these papers in place and stuff because they're all stapled together. Awesome. So it seems like every time I turn on my camera, Richard's gone out. 
he just went out to buy me some supper because he's going over to Jesse's to babysit. I'm not feeling up to staying up later than probably eight or nine and they're going to the Kanye West concert. But I want to show you how I packaged up my Rice Krispie treats. See those labels? It says, welcome to Nana's kitchen. Oops, open 24 hours. And those are on the muffins too. Isn't that cute? Look, I printed a whole page of them. So they get their Nana's baking. So I made Rice Krispie treats and blackberry muffins I think I showed you earlier and I got the sign Richard took a picture of you know the sign I have in my kitchen and we just put it we made a PDF and put it into the labels on word so yeah kind of cute so Richard just got home with my McDonald's Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And guess, to my surprise, the Ooh. woman in front paid for this. I went, I went to pay for this, and the lady says, or the guy says, uh, somebody you're, pay. You're that woman in front, the lady in front. She paid for, she she paid for your meal. This is the second time this week. Yeah. We took my mom out for dinner at Swiss Chalet, and this lady came over and was asking how old is my mom, and she was quite excited about her birthday and everything, and so that was fine. And she was there, I think, with her husband and somebody else, right? I, I'm not I, sure. I, I, oh, you couldn't see because she was behind see, you. Yeah, yeah. So when we left, I just said, hi, bye, and smiled at her. And she said, bye, and have a nice day and all that. And then when we went to leave, the waitress was almost in tears. And she said, do you know that woman paid for all of your suppers? That well, was first I thought she said your mom. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I thought she had just paid for my mom, yeah. which I thought that was nice yeah, enough. Yeah. And she said, no, no, no. She, she paid, paid for all of you. She goes, you guys must be doing something nice. And now this? Yeah. What? I know. This is our second scene. So I've got... We, uh, Karma is a good and thing. I said to, and I Pay said to myself in the car, I said, Monica... When we're in the car, we got to do we're it. We're doing it. We're doing the same thing. Yeah, we have to. We look behind the people behind. Us. I've done it with coffees, like you know, at Tim Hortons. Yeah, I always, I always say, um, I'll pay for their. What did they get? And they usually say four coffees. I said, oh, I'll pay for it. Yeah. I've done that, but I've never paid like at a McDonald's or something. <laughs> First time for me. Wow, too bad we didn't buy lots. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, it was just for me. Yeah. And if you think, oh, Monica's eating crappy, I have a salad, people. Salad There's a salad and a hamburger in here. I'll prove it to you. See. There's a salad right here. Okay, we'll see you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Got a smooch on film. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mavis. Happy birthday. Blow your candles out now. Blow your candles out. Blow them out. Blow. Blow them out. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, my house smells so good. This is another one of those candles. But this time I got the signature candle from Bath and Body Works. And they're cheaper. This is the label. Whoa. Hang on. You see? It looks more like that. And it's their signature candles, and they were way cheaper and smelled just as good. So this one's called Pumpkin Spice. Just had to chuckle. I could hear Richard downstairs clicking channels, trying to find the right channel. And I used to laugh. My dad used to do that too. They try to find the right channel to sleep to. Guarantee he's sleeping. Let's go see. My dad used to do that. Look at my craft table, people. Look at this room. Look, 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 look. What a mess. But I know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? Crafters out there know what I'm talking about. You know, I know 
what's what. And it would probably take me 10 minutes to get this all back to where it's supposed to be. But I know what I'm doing. I have to sand this buckle again because the cover has got a glossy cover and I painted it. I just don't like the paint, so I'm just going to sand it all off. That'll really grunge it up and make it look even cooler. And then I sort of got this one. I got the signatures in anyway. See, they're all... I just did a three-hole pamphlet style. So they're all in. And there's some have the little uh, top note things in there. So, yeah, that looks really good. So I just have to finish finish up the front decorating and stuff. So I want to get this one to that same stage. And then I have yet another one here. This book cover. Look how tattered that is. So, yeah, I'll get this one done too. And then I'll have those three journals for my craft sale. I'm talking funny because my face keeps... This pain, whenever you have not seen me vlogging this weekend, the majority of that time I've been in horrible pain. This trigeminal pain, this flare-up has lasted since the 6th because that was the night before we went to the uh, awareness day and that was October 7th and I think it's the 16th today. So it's 10 days of this flare-up and it is driving me crazy. So I think at some point today we're going to have to go and I'm going to have to get one of those Dilantin infusions. And what it does is it just kind of, it for me, it doesn't work for everybody that way, but for me it's kind of like it goes into your body and it's just another tool and it just sort of sometimes shuts off the attack. That's my hope because I can't take too much more of this. It's too uncomfortable, and this new drug is there, but it's not working 100%. Well, not not even, I mean, if it was working 90% or 80%, that would be okay, but it's not even doing that. And see, I talk like this because my mouth is numb, and I'm also getting pain on both sides. So there's just only so much a person can take, you know? So I try to keep myself busy, but it doesn't always work. So yeah, we'll just see how the day goes. I am so sorry that I was so close up in that last clip. Holy scary face, Batman. So yeah, look where we are. This is happening. And there he sits again. Hey, Richard. It was, what's not a fun thing? Me having to do this? Yeah, it's not funny. Real life. This is reality, people. Sure it is. <sighs> so we're back in the hospital. And look what my son Curtis left for me in the house. Because they all came to pick up their baking. And supper was all. He cooked all of this cornbread, five cheese macaroni and cheese fried chicken, greens, and black-eyed peas, and sweet potato pie. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, come on. Like, seriously. How sweet is that? So I'm just going to go eat my supper and um, enjoy it. Yes, it is Monday today. And yesterday was the day I was at the hospital, and um, I feel 100% better. I'm so glad I did that, even though it's brutal, but I did it. And it, it means breaking up this um, flare-up that I've been having. That's so be it, because yeah. So I'm going to end my vlog here with a coherent mind and... Um, you can see I'm much better, so you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. That is just one of the many faces of trigeminal neuralgia. That's what you have to do. Like this whole weekend was pretty much TN-based. Although the kids loved their baking. Oh my God. I came home to this new beverage from Shannon. Shh. And then in 
inside the fridge it says chili made with love. Isn't that sweet? And then my son Curtis, oh I think you saw me eating my supper last night. Oh my god, it was so delicious. So that was nice. So we didn't have to cook supper last night or tonight, so that's kind of nice. I think my doggies have to go out pee. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry this vlog was like really not that interesting and kind of boring, but it's our life and that's just the way it is. Like I said to Richard, who's we sitting in the chair, he's like, Monica, it's not funny. Don't vlog that. But I'm like, but this is my life and if I can't laugh about it, what am I going to do? It's just the way it is, you know? So most times it's not that way and that's the blessing and the so silver lining behind a cloudy weekend that you know most times it isn't like that so yeah so anyway i better go let the dogs out before they pee on the floor and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next week bye